Have you ever seen those adorable dog beds that look like little teepees? I have had my eye on those for quite a while because my two dogs love to burrow and get cozy and comfy in little confined spaces. While you can get them at the store, you can also make them right at home, which is what I wanted to do because I wanted to customize the fabric and the colors to my home decor. So I took some time and I did a whole bunch of research. I looked at the store-bought options, I looked at a bunch of different tutorials, and I came up with my own pattern. It is such a hit in my house and I love Love the way that it came out. I'm about to make a second one for my second dog and I figured I would actually film the process so I could show you how I do it. So here is a DIY tutorial for a teepee dog bed. To make this teepee dog bed, you will need two yards of fabric, fabric scissors, and a pencil or some chalk to mark your fabric, a large ruler or measuring tape, a sewing machine with thread that matches your fabric, and some fabric clips or pins. Four dowels, I'm using 3 eighths of an inch, and these are 36 inches long. And lastly, you're going to need some strong crafting cord. The first step is to take your fabric and what we're going to do is measure out some triangles. We're gonna create four of them and this will ultimately become the side panels for our teepee. So what I'm gonna do is just take my fabric, open it up and put the good side, this part where, you know, the fancy side, I'm gonna put that facing down. I'm gonna mark my fabric and create my little triangles. Now that our fabric's laid out, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna measure out 26 inches at the bottom. That's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna make a little mark at the 26 inch line. And then, because we're making a triangle, we need to go up the middle. So I'm gonna go right in the middle at that 13 inch mark. I'm gonna take my really long ruler here and I'm gonna measure out 31 inches high. Use your pencil to connect the triangle points and then cut. Repeat this until you have four triangles. The next step is to layer all of your triangles. Now, if you're using a stripe pattern like I am, then you're gonna need to take a little time to adjust so that way all of the lines are even. Then measure out four inches from the top and cut. You're creating space for the dowels, or shall I say the teepee's top, which we'll place later on. I grab my sewing machine and now I'm going to take the top and the bottom of each triangle. I'm gonna fold it over about a quarter of an inch and then I'm gonna sew a line here so that way my fabric doesn't fray. So I just finished sewing down the tops and the bottoms of each of my four panels. Now what I'm gonna do is actually create a little opening, right? Our dogs need to be able to go in and out of their teepee, so we need to create a little door. So what I've done is I've grabbed my ruler and I've taken uh, and put it right in the middle of one of the panels. I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm just gonna mark a little line 15 inches to the top. And then I'm gonna grab my scissor and I'm just gonna cut along this line. And once this is all cut out, I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine and again, fold it back about a quarter of an inch and then sew it down with a little line so that way the fabric doesn't fray. And now we're on to the next step, which is connecting all of the panels and also creating a little pocket on each end for our dowels. So what we're gonna do is ultimately create two lines of stitching. We're gonna do one about a quarter of an inch from the edge, each edge. And then we're also going to make another one three quarters of an inch over from that. I'm gonna go over that measurement again in just a minute. For right now, the only thing you need to know is that we're gonna start with two panels outside to outside. So our outsides become our insides, they face each other. And then we are going to take either your pins or your clamps and go ahead and ride these along the edge and make your first stitch about a quarter of an inch in from this one edge. Now it's time for that second stitch line I mentioned just a second ago. Grab your pencil and three quarters of an inch over, draw a parallel line down your fabric. And so, we just finished making our second stitch, which creates the little pocket for our dowel. Now I have an opening at the top and the bottom. 
I don't really want my dowel to poke out the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is just run a stitch along the bottom line here, just so I close it up. Repeat these same steps with your remaining panels. So we're all finished with the fabric portion of our teepee and now it's time to put the sticks in and give it a nice teepee structure. So I'm gonna start with two sticks and I'm gonna go in opposite directions. Use your rope and secure the dowels. I start out with a knot and then wrap around horizontally about seven or eight times. Then I wrap vertically three more times. Don't tie it off though, we still have two more poles to add. Feed your third pole under the first two and into a pocket. Then continue wrapping your rope to secure and finish it off with your fourth pole. Place a pillow into your teepee and some dog toys and then let your canine companion relax. 